इन्फिनिटी अकेडमी के यूट्यूब चैनल पर आप सभी का स्वागत है टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ आर सी सी दैट इज रेनफोर्स सीमेंट कॉन्क्रीट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्वेश्चन विच वर आज इन द टू मेंस एग्जामिनेशन ओके एंड वी हैव टेकन ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द बुक विच कंटेन्स एम बी एस सी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन इट हैज मोर देन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड एम सी क्यूज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन एंड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ कॉलम क्रॉस सेक्शन थ्री हंड्रेड एम एम इन टू फोर हंड्रेड एम एम टू टू फाइव जीरो एम एम लॉन्ग फिक्सड एट वन एंड एंड फ्री एट द अदर एंड द रेशियो ऑफ इफेक्टिव लेंथ टू द least lateral dimension is okay in this column we will see that jo hame detail given hai that is it is fixed from the one end and free from the another end so condition is like this it is having length of 2250 mm and it is having a rectangular cross section okay which has sides of 300 into 400 mm so column is something like this Now we have to find the ratio of effective length to the least lateral dimension. In the case when one end is fixed and another end is free, the effective length we know that L effective is equals to two into L. So in this case, two into two two five zero. That is what? That is the effective length divided by least lateral dimension lateral dimension is 300 into 400 so least lateral dimension is 300 after solving this we will get it as 15 okay so the ratio of effective length to the least lateral dimension is 15 and the answer is b in this case next question is In the design of slab, as per IS four five six, what should be minimum percentage of distribution steel if FE four one five reinforcement is used? So, in the case when we have to provide the distribution reinforcement, we have to know the grade of the steel. Okay, it varies with the grade of the steel. In case of FE two fifty, it is different, and in case of FE four one five, it is different. so for fe415 the distribution steel is 0.12% of total cross sectional area hai na aur a iske case mein answer ho jayega in the case when we are using fe250 it it is 0.15% of total cross sectional area so answer is a in this case next question is what is maximum diameter of main reinforcement used in the slab of overall thickness 160 mm as per is 456 2000 okay ab dekhiye slab ke case mein yadi hame main reinforcement ka diameter find karna hai then we can find it out as thickness of the slab hai na overall thickness of the slab is what it is 160 mm divided by 8 that's how we will get the dimension for the main reinforcement and it is equals to 20 mm okay so as per the options given here answer is d okay answer is d in this case next is what is the effective span of a staircase supported at each end by landing span parallel with the risers if width of landing is 2.5 meter width of starting passage is 1.5 meter and going of the stair is 2.2 meters okay so dekhiye in the case of staircase what happens that staircase is something like this it is like this in which it is the rise and it is the tread okay to kya hai when we see the plan of staircase then it is something like this if we are going up in this direction then it is the portion it is the portion and it is one of the portion 
it is known as the going so going in this case is 2.2 meter it can be represented by g and width of the land is 2.5 meter width of the land is 2.5 meters in this case and the starting passage is suppose you are starting from this region then it is what it is 2.1.5 meter okay starting of the passage is 1.5 meter now see if we denote this as x and it as y so effective span for the stair is given by l effective we can write it as g plus x plus y where x is equals to what x by 2 or 1 whichever is less so in this case x is what 1.5 so 1.5 divided by 2 or 1 it is 0.75 or 1 so less in this case is what 0.75 now for the case of y okay so in the case of y we will find it as y by 2 or 1 whichever is less in meters so y is what in this case it is 2.5 meters divided by 2 or 1 so it comes out as 1.25 and 1 so less is in this case is 1 so it is 1 meter so effective span is we'll put in this formula it is equals to l effective going is what 2.2 meters 2.2 plus 1 plus point 0.75 okay so it comes out as 3.95 meter as per the options given here c is the correct answer okay now next question next question is what is the effective span of a staircase supported at each end by edge of the landing slab which spans parallel with the risers if width of both landing is 2.5 meter and going of a stair is 2.2 meter it is also somewhat similar to the previous question and as per the data given in the questions it is around 3 meters it was provided by mpsc data and this is the going portion and it is something like this and in this case they have provided that both the landing is 2.5 meters okay considering it as up okay both the landing is 2.5 meter in this case and going of a stair is 2.2 meter 2.2 meter so effective span will be calculated as a uh, same manner in which we have calculated in the previous question so effective span is equals to g plus x plus y where x is equals to what x by 2 or 1 whichever is less so in this case 2.5 divided by 2 or 1 okay and the less in this case is obviously 1.25 or 1 so it is 1 meter y is also having same dimensions 2.5 so this case will be valid for y also okay so after putting the value in this we will get it as the going is 2.2 meters plus it is what 1 plus 1 so it comes out as 4.2 meters and as per the options correct answer is c now we'll move towards the next question it is also related with the staircase only for the design of a staircase self weight of west slab is calculated as when t is tread r is riser d is depth of west slab depth of west slab hame given hai riser hai that is this it is the stair is like this so it is the riser and it is the trade okay it is the trade for stair and it is the riser so in this case the self weight of the staircase is calculated as 
डब्ल्यू नॉट इन टू रूट ओवर आर स्क्वायर प्लस टी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई टी ओके वेर इट इज गामा सी इन टू डी इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज टी स्क्वायर प्लस आर स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई टी सो आंसर एज पर द ऑप्शन गिवन बिलो इज डी ओके got it staircase they asked three questions from the staircase only next is in the design of retaining wall both active earth pressure and passive earth pressure is considered due to soil available on both sides with different heights of rcc retaining wall if angle of repose 30 degree then what will be the relation between coefficient of earth pressure and passive earth pressure angle hame given hai 30 degree bahut aasan hai k kya hota hai coefficient of active earth pressure which is equals to 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi so we'll put the value here sin 30 plus 1 plus sin 30 okay so it comes out as 1 minus 1 by 2, 1 plus 1 by 2. It is 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. So it is equals to 1 by 3. K is equals to 1 by 3. We get. We know that KP is equals to what? 1 plus sine phi divided by 1 minus sine phi. So in this case, 1 plus sine 30. Divided by one minus sine thirty. So it is three by two divided by one by two. So it is equals to three. Now we have to find out the relation between the K and KP. So what we can do here is we see that K is equals to one by three. So K by KP and KP is equals to what three. Okay, so K by K P is equals to one by three into K P is equals to we know it is three. So it comes out as one by nine. So K is equals to one by nine into K P. Okay, so as per the options given here, K is equals to one by nine K P. So correct answer is D. Now, next question is the minimum area of tension reinforcement shall be not less than फॉर डिजाइन ऑफ बीम है ना डिजाइन ऑफ बीम के लिए जो टेंशन एनफोर्समेंट है उसका क्या प्रोविजन है है ना तो देखिए प्रोविजन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन है ये काफी सारे यहाँ पे बीम के लिए जो मिनिमम परसेंटेज ऑफ एनफोर्समेंट हम लेते हैं दैट इज इक्वल टू वॉट पॉइंट एट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई एफ वाई इन टू बी डी ओके बी डी ये लेते हैं और मैक्सिमम रेनफोर्समेंट कितना होता है फोर परसेंट ऑफ बी डी ठीक है तो यहाँ पे मिनिमम के लिए हमें पूछा गया है सो मिनिमम इज B, okay. B is correct answer. Next is for high yield strength deformed bars of grade FE 500, the permissible stress in direct tension and flexural tension shall be used in working stress method. है ना? तो देखिए, as per the code, it is given in the table 22 that For high yield strength deformed bars of grade FE 500, the permissible stress in direct tension and flexural tension is taken as 0.55 Fy. Okay, it is a provision given by the IRC. We have to remember it. So answer is C in this case. Now, next question is: If in any given plane, one end of the column is unrestrained. its unsupported length l shall not exceed where b is width and d is depth of cross section okay all the details has been provided here so we have to just find or we have to just remember the answer in this case ha na and the answer for this is 100 b square by d okay so answer is b or yadi iske case mein Uh, हमें और कोई कंडीशन दी हुई है तो उनके हिसाब से चीजें वेरी करती हैं मींस एंड कंडीशंस है ना एंड कंडीशन यदि डिफर करेंगे तो उसके हिसाब से इसकी वैल्यूज में वेरिएशन होता है बट इन दिस केस इट इज 100 बी स्क्वायर बाय डी 
Now we will take next question and it is if top of earth retained in earth retained is horizontal the coefficient of passive earth pressure for retaining wall become है ना देखिए अभी हमने डिस्कस किया है ना कोफिशेंट ऑफ एक्टिव अर्थ प्रेशर क्या होता है और कोफिशेंट ऑफ पैसिव अर्थ प्रेशर क्या होता है तो यहाँ पे कोफिशेंट ऑफ पैसिव अर्थ प्रेशर की बात की गई है सो वी नो दैट कोफिशेंट ऑफ अर्थ प्रेशर पैसिव अर्थ प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू वॉट वन प्लस साइन फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस साइन फाइव सो इट इज नॉट द केस इट इज ऑल्सो नॉट द केस इट विल बी द केस दैट वन प्लस साइन फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस साइन फाइव ओके सो आंसर इज be in this case so these were the questions asked in the rcc for mes 2019 examination hope you all have enjoyed this session we will bring more sessions and more questions related to the mbsc previous years so thank you so much